Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Signing Corner. My name is Shauna Gallagher, and I am with Little Hearts to Little Hands. Everyone knows about myths. We all talk about them this time of year for Halloween, the legends, the spooky tales, the scary stories, the graveyard hauntings and ghosts. Of course, most of all, most of it is just used for fun and maybe just to tell some scary stories and maybe scare the, the children or the neighborhood kids. But there are also myths about sign language. But before I divulge into those, I would like to show you the sign today. The sign for the day is Halloween. There are two ways to sign this sign. You can either take your fingers like you're making a mask across your face twice for Halloween, or you take your hands and you move them outward twice as if you're taking off a mask or saying, boo. Those are the signs for Halloween. So going into myths about ASL, a lot of people think that ASL, American Sign Language, is just a mimicking of English. But I would like to share with you a few things about this. American Sign Language, it, the probably the most important myth to debunk is the fact that it's not a vid visual code for English. The difference between ASL and English, they are actually quite significant. They use different modalities, visual and gesture, as opposed to aural and oral. And they have different phonology and grammar. Also, ASL is not a language of pictures or pantomime. If this were true, then no one would have a problem understanding American Sign Language. There are also other myths out there about American Sign Language. It's not something that someone just came up with one day and said, well, I'm just going to make up a sign for shoe and that's going to be it and it looks like a shoe. All signs have meaning behind them, but there's also more to the language than just a sign or a vocabulary word. There are sentence structures, grammatical structures, and even using classifiers can show something and really bring a picture into light other than just a word. So if you'd like to learn more, stay tuned with us and you'll be able to catch on to new signs each day and then you can also contact me anytime for more information about the language. So I would like to show you once again the two different signs for Halloween today. The first one is like making a mask over your face. The second one is like removing a mask from your face. And please come back and join us again on One Life TV and take care.